Due to the effects of COVID-19, authorities had to ban all gatherings as a way of curbing the virus, pausing all major sports activities. For example, 2020 Olympics, uh, EPL, La Liga, Bundesliga, among others. Despite all this, our sportsmen and women have not lost passion, but rather turned to individual training. And e-games were introduced for the fans so that they don't get bored during the lockdown. The virus has affected everyone in the sporting industry, where corporate partners suffered huge loss, and football clubs had to embrace pay cuts to support the unplaying staff. However, in Zimbabwe sport, CAF declared that all Zimbabwe stadiums are not fit for international games, which came as a disappointment to the fans as they had to watch the supposed local games being played outside the country. Now, in a bid to solve all this mess, the former Olympic gold medalist swimmer, currently the Minister of Sport and Recreation, Dr. Kirsty Coventry, had to lobby for renovation funds. Now join me in the studio as I talk to the comic pastor and Method Manjali as we discuss about how coronavirus has affected life and football. Talking sport as life. Welcome to Sports Evolution 360. I'm your host, Jose W. Today it's all about football. And today I have a special guest, one that I like to call a controversial guest. Please help me welcome Prosper, the comic pastor. Steve, how are you doing? I'm blessed. How are you? Why man? controversial? Or what have I done? What have I done? Ah, come on, man. Everybody knows you're <laughs> I'm controversial. I'm not controversial. You're, you're controversial. Award winning comedian, not controversial. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, award winning. How are you doing? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm doing great. So, how's the family? Are we better? We are better. Mm -hmm. COVID 19. Yes, yes. Forced to work from home. Yeah. With your wives and children. Not an easy thing. It's, it's, an, it's, it's yeah. a new environment. You can't just go out for lunch and just say I'm going out for lunch and buy your own food. You she see? has to ask you where you're going. You see, so now it's hard. <laughs> but, but, but we're there. We survive it. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, before the, the, the corona pandemic, yes. uh, locally our stadiums were banned from, from hosting matches. That, 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 was and quite and a, that, that was sad. And, and remember, we had a match coming, we had a match against, I think it was against Botswana or yes. Algeria. It was a match against Algeria, yes. and uh, we are supposed to go and watch it, mm -hmm. probably in South Africa or Zambia. Oh, you were Italy. supposed to go and watch it? Oh. <laughs> what, what can we do? <laughs> we are the fans. Yeah, so really the don't. government, I think, was going to fund our transport and hotels, and then we go support, and I, I'm, I'm assuming it's an assumption. But at the same time, the match was supposed to be watched by Zimbabwe because okay. it was Zimbabwe yeah. playing in a World Cup qualifier. Yes, yes. Not at all. Yeah. It, it was a sad situation. It was a sad situation. So, uh, how did that affect you as a fan? Um, I, I don't want to lie. Um, I've watched from the time I could fund myself, I've watched every Warriors game yes. as long as I was available. Mm -hmm. And uh, the moment we were told that the match was not going to be played in Zimbabwe, it, it, it gives you some some weird thoughts and like what are we doing as a nation? Where are we going, King? Um, so are we gonna carry our ngoma there? And, and how in does South it Africa. feel singing Ah oh, my now may now in South Africa? <laughs> you, you start to wonder people, how will they take us? Because but we I have think, our own tradition. I think they have their own, they have their now now in South Africa. Yeah, but but we, 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 we celebrate our national teams different. Exactly. And, and and as for Zimbabwe, we've got our Romarios, you know Romario, yeah, we've got yeah, our Alubas, yeah. we've got those fans like me who are always there. We don't even watch the game. We are big, just, big just the drum. Play, just and, and, and now you have to travel with that drum to South Africa. It's not fair. It's not fair. And and, and I was looking at it and saying, now that we have COVID, is it not a chance uh -huh. for us to 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 to, to fix this all thing and then have our stadiums back into okay but wasn't it a financial situation no 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 no, 
no. It, it, it's reluctance from the mother bodies, mm -hmm. Zipa, Marina, it was your part. And, it, it, no, I'm not saying that. I did not say that. But what I'm saying is that uh, we, these guys know. They know that the stadiums need Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. We need the ref's room. Yes, we exactly. need shower. We need... These things have been... I, I, I went to I went to, to Devon and I went to that stadium. I think it's called... Uh, I've forgotten the name. Mm -hmm. You go there, there's a jacuzzi for every player. Every, every player. Every player has got a tub. After the match, you get into a tub. You get what or cold what? You choose. You choose. And an ice tub. Do you know what an ice tub is? You, you, you face hearing it now. I'm hearing it for the first time. Yes. Moses Mabida. Moses Mabida was there. After the match, you have got an injury. You've got... You need to go into an ice uh, ice tub where you get your your injured fix. But mm -hmm. here we don't even have okay. showers. We don't, <laughs> do we have showers? <laughs> We're still using those gates. You know the the, the, the gates that that you push. <laughs> coin, coin, coin. It, it's now your card. Tap in. Mm -hmm. Tap in. Okay, but a lot of people talk about problems. They recognize problems, yes. but no one really brings solutions. Okay. Now, what if you were given the opportunity to run Zifa? Okay. I didn't say anything. Okay. Okay. All right. What if, if given the opportunity to be the minister of sports? No, okay. to, to solve the situation. Mm. Oh yeah, speaking of minister of something, I, mm. saw, I saw your video. Ah, uh, that's nothing to do with sports. Today, we, 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 that's minister of information. We're talking about <laughs> sports. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, um, yeah. okay, given a chance, given a chance to, to run the thing, to, to the first thing is there is a budget. Every time you go you go into parliament, there is a budget for sports. Okay. Okay. We, we, we only worried about soccer today because that's what we're discussing. But yeah. talk of swimming. Do we have a swimming pool in Zimbabwe where we can have a proper competition? Talk of other things. So now this money that we receive, you receive as a minister, you receive it as a permanent secretary. I don't know who receives the money as the mm -hmm. Zipa president. The money, we also have got sponsors where people were coming in on board saying we want to sponsor the thing. Mm -hmm. The money should not be channeled into your diesel and petrol and hotels. Okay. Yeah, because these guys are so good. They say, I'm moving on a, on a national business, on a whatever business, and then they are sleeping in nice hotels using a lot of uh, fuel chewing cars. And then they say, ah, the budget was finished on fuel. And, uh, this is the money that you're supposed to invest into the sports exactly. things, mm -hmm. into the national sports stadiums. Go there, do the painting, mm -hmm. do the lawn. The guys, and, and, and surprisingly, mm -hmm. surprisingly, after the story came out, then they said, ah, the stadium is being fixed. We saw people sweeping using um, a palm leaves, you know, the palm tree yeah, leaves. Yeah. They were using those. You look at that. I remember the game against Tanzania, I was there. Mm -hmm. The, the stadium markings were, were, were being washed away by, 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 by the rain. And, and they had to bring hand people doing the markings using hands. It's a shame. It's a shame. And, so and when it, I say it, 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 it seems like it's a joke, but I've is seen it, it. Is, is it. Is it that we don't, we don't have, uh, we, we are not that serious with sport, or what can it be? It, yeah, we don't take it as, as, as a career. We take it as a job. We, you know, like we, we, we all assume that uh, and, and, and other countries they have moved. This is where our, our major setback is because we take it like uh, it's a job. We have not yet valued anything that has got something to do with sports. And then after that, we expect the players to leave. We don't want to go to the World Cup. After that, you do, do, do. You, we expect the players to go to take us to the nation to the World, World Cup. Yes, and we, bring we, us the trophy. We, we, we're calling these guys and saying, "I know Zimbabwean players are not good. Eh? Guys, we've got names." So we've it's 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 not the the players' fault. Mm -mm, mm -mm, it's administration. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Who okay? Which stadium? You go to national sports. Center, there is no gym equipment. There is no proper gym where people can come in and do proper. When I'm talking of proper, we're talking of running things. All our players do is run up and down, run up and down. Maybe do a little bit of weightlifting. <laughs> and 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 we 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 living in the 20th century. This is 2020, man. Where where other countries are talking of 5G, we are still in 2G. When it comes to sports, okay, mm. but the whole world is a 5G and we are yes. 2G. This this is a time when a player who plays for a big club like mm -hmm. Dynamos must have a gym equipment at his own house. 
saying, okay, there is, there is corona, no one can move. Mm -hmm. You still don't have to miss your gym activities. Exactly. Watch out when we go back to, to we will see Mr. Bauks uh, playing football. Will at Kumalo currently. Oh, like I told you, he is a controversial guest. We can go all day, but stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Sports Evolution 360. And as promised, the man is here with me. Please, help me welcome Method Manjali. How, how are you doing, my brother? I'm good, how are you? I'm, I'm, I'm good. Thank you. And I have to say, you're looking really great. Thank you, bro. You too. You, 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 awesome. You're one player who really knows how to represent your brand very well. With the suits and... and, 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 and <laughs> Just trying to keep up the appearance as well. Yeah. Yes. Keeping up the brand up there. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Yeah. So let's just jump right in. Tell me, who is Method Manjali? Method Manjali is a boy who grew up in Wange, born and bred and raised in Wange. I did, I did my primary education in Wange and my secondary education in Wange. And then mm -hmm. I graduated to the Wange first team. I think it was in two, two, uh, 1999, 2000. That's when my, my career started. Okay, in Wange? Yes, in Wange. Okay, so yeah. Wange was the first? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so what did you, what, what were some of the lessons you took from Wange coming to these other teams? Uh, firstly, it was uh, just hard work, dedication to what you do. So mm -hmm. these are some of the things that uh, I managed to take from Wange to wherever I've been. Okay. Yeah. Now, would you say football is your gift? Yes, I would say it's my gift because uh, it was God given, and uh, from a tender age, that's when I started playing football. And then even my parents realized that uh, method loves loves football. But but how, how did your parents take it, especially your mother? For me, it wasn't difficult because my mom was a, was a netball person. Okay. She, she she used to be she used to play netball, so uh -huh. uh, she would encourage me to to maybe do a lot of trainings uh, with, the, with the senior guys. Like mm -hmm. uh, my older brothers were foot, football players also. So it, it wasn't difficult for me to venture into football. Okay. Uh, because, because looking back at that time, uh, I just grew up next door to the stadium where the, the, the Wange football team used mm -hmm. to train. So it was, it was easier for me to, 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 to go into football. Okay. Because everybody was uh, around me was surrounding me was a football person or a sports person, so okay. it was easy for me. Yeah, well, it was not easy for me at all to launch into, into this, what I'm doing. It, yeah. it, it wasn't easy. My mother didn't take it lightly. She wanted me to go to school, study, and be somebody, maybe a, an accountant or something. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's one thing that you, you're telling me, but for me, like I'm saying, mm -hmm. it, 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 wasn't, it, it, it was easy, sorry, it was easy because uh, like I'm saying, uh, most of my family members were, were sports people. Were sports people. Yeah, so it was easy for me to, to venture into football. Okay. And then you moved with your career. What were some of the, the highlight moments in your career? For me, it was uh, the Sunrise move. Uh, looking back at that time, uh, it took me like... Almost uh, the, the, my, my entire playing career for me to, to, to get a move from, from, from Zim to SA. Uh -huh. I wouldn't say it was a dream move, but uh, it, was, it was a huge move for me because uh, by then, I think I was, I, was, uh, I was almost 30 years old by then, okay. looking at that time. So a lot of people would say, I'm not is, is uh, over the age now, he can't mm -hmm. even move to, to, to a better league. So it was for me. It was a breakthrough. Uh -huh. Even though it was South Africa, I would, I would have loved maybe to to move to Europe, but uh, I'm not God. God uh, made that for me. He decided that I should go to South Africa, and I accepted it. Look, I I, I notice you you talk a lot about God. You refer a lot to God. Are are you a Christian? Yes, I'm a Christian. I'm a Roman Catholic. Oh, yeah. Since birth. Since birth, yeah. Okay. My whole family, in fact, the Catholics. Wow. Yeah. And you're sticking to it? Yes, I'm sticking to it. Up to today. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, brother. 
<laughs> I'm very sure. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, you, you mentioned you moved to South Africa. What were some of your moments in South Africa? Did you get like offers or, or, or something to, to, from other teams? Uh, for me, uh, I didn't get offers because uh, uh -huh. uh, playing for Sundowns was, uh, Sundowns is one of the biggest teams. The big, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so I, yeah. Uh, even if I'd, I, I'd, I'd gotten offers by then, I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't think twice of, mm -hmm. I'll just, I'll, I'll stick to Sundowns because it's, it's a big team. Yeah, There's no other uh, uh, place to be mm -hmm. than to be at Sundowns. Wow, and then you come back and represent Zimbabwe in, in the national league, in, in the national team. So tell me, how, how does that feel wearing that yellow jersey, that Zimbabwean jersey? For me, it's an honor and it's a privilege because if you look, I think in Zim, we've got a lot of players. I think uh -huh. we've got more than 500 players mm -hmm. who want to don that jersey. But uh, it was a privilege for me to be selected among those to, uh -huh. to wear the, the yellow and green jersey. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's actually a, a responsibility, if I can say. Yeah, it is a huge responsibility, yeah. representing your country. It's uh -huh. like going to the, to the war. So everybody will be looking up to you to say, ah, okay, these guys have gone to war. Uh -huh. Obviously, the only result they expect is a win. victory, a victory, win. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a, it's a big responsibility. Okay. Yeah. But, 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 I, I, sometimes I wish people would understand this, the, the, the weight of, of responsibility on your shoulders. I understand you're also the captain. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I took, I, I took uh, after I was in Tanzania, Muaruaru. Okay. I had the privilege also to play alongside uh, uh, Muaruaru and mm -hmm. uh, Greg Peter and uh, the likes of Ezra Myandoro, Tinashe mm -hmm. Nongo I can go on and on, the list is endless. Uh, it was an honor for me to play along, along, alongside those yeah. guys. And then you mentioned all these, these, these big guys. Did you have some sort of mentorship or, or guidance from, from, from any of them? I think I got my guidance when I was, I was young in Wange, because mm -hmm. uh, there was uh, players like David Piri and uh, Fabian Zulu who used to play for Wange. Mm -hmm. Those are the people that mentored me when, at a tender age to say, look, in football you have to do this. These mm -hmm. are the principles of football, so yeah. Okay. That's where I got my mentorship from. Okay, and, and, and it really helped you to become the man you are today? I, it, it did, it okay. did, it did. Okay, now, you know when people see you, like now you're on TV, but when people see you, they don't really know that you've, you've got some moments you wish, when you look back at them, you wish you would have done them differently or maybe solved the situation differently. What are some of those moments? For me, if I look back into my career, mm -hmm. there's, uh, there's an injury that uh, I got while preparing for, for the AFCON. It should be 2004, 2006, I'm not sure. I forgot the year. Uh -huh. But uh, that was a major setback for me because uh, I was supposed to go represent the, the, the nation at, at, uh -huh. in, the, in the AFCON in Egypt, I think. But uh, due, due to that injury, I couldn't. Uh -huh. Okay. Because it was a big blow for me. Wow. How, how did you feel on the inside? Looking back, if only I could change the, uh, the injury, mm -hmm. but uh, I can't. For me, it, uh, it, it really pained me a lot because uh, it was something that I was looking forward to represent my country, yes. but uh, that dream was shattered just like that mm -hmm. through that injury that I got. What, what was the injury, by the way? It was, uh, it was uh, a broken clavicle. Okay, on yeah. the shoulder? On the shoulder, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's how I put it. That, that was the injury. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, if I was to ask you, who is your best or who's your pick? Who would you prefer? Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo? I'd go for Sierra 7, Cristiano Ronaldo. Why? Because he, he has shown that hard work, hard work pays. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I, can, I cannot say he's not talented. He is talented, but uh, with not hard work, as perseverance, not yeah. as Messi, yeah, but uh -huh. with hard work, perseverance, he can achieve. So wow. it's, it's a lesson to some of the players that are playing this game to say, look, through hard work, you can mm -hmm. go places. Through hard work, you can achieve. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I was told uh, Cristiano Ronaldo is the first to get on the pitch and the last one to leave after practice. It shows that he's dedicated to, yes. to what he's doing and he loves what he's doing. So it goes to all the players, you should love what you're doing. Mm -hmm. That's football, if you're a football person.
Okay. If you're a boxing person, you should love what you do. What you do. If you're a swimming person, you should love swimming. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I, I want you to compose yourself because we've got a lot coming your way. Okay. So okay. please stay with us. We've got a lot to discover from Method Manjali. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>